is MB Egregious here uh, about a day late. I just picked up on the new release of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. They are going on season three right now. At first, I was just going to leave this alone, but then I figured like, you know what? I played the game a lot, very extensively. So check my Twitch if you want to see uh, the rough play. But on the YouTube, we do story bits. So I was always curious about the, f the first four initial new characters after the Suicide Squad officially released. The Joker was season one. Then we got Mrs. Freeze from season two. So that's a mild spoiler for those. But but you know what? The whole thing is based on the multiverse aspect. So so pretty much whoever was dead or alive, or let's just hear say at this point. So the main question was, who was the next two characters? The fourth one, I surmise, or rather, I was having a, a discussion with one of my squad mates in the game and he suggests that it might be Deadshot as the fourth character. But the third character was very unknown. So this will be a first time run through just to see who this Lawless is. Very curious to see how deep in the DC uh, lore uh, a villain are they going to pull that clearly isn't somebody that we know. So hopefully we won't really have to do our homework, but let us see who they got for us in the multiverse. Oh gosh, the Kirby. Kirby. <laughs> she worked. Like jumping on for it. After the whole Robin Hood thing in Gotham a while, that iceberg lounge party heist, <laughs> me and Mar. Now Metropolis is under siege and it's being suppressed in media. I had to get in there and do something. Okay, I had some help from the Suicide Squad. So, Thanks, Dad Shot. Anyway, I'm experimenting this wow, mega colonizing shtick across multiple dimensions. So I've been exploring, documenting, and making plans. Unlike some people. Ugh, we'll work on that when they get here. Okay. So, where is here? I mean, look at this. What even is this Brainiac? Actually, first, I have something to show y'all straight from Brainiac's lab. <laughs> from the lab. Oh, she has smarty too? Whoa. This message is for Deadshot. Who are you watching? Um, hey, Dad, it's me, Zoe, which, you know, sleep. Um, so I grew up with your rules, but I have very valid reasons, okay? Uh, Columbus is some cool cattle in the memorabilia, and I found your favorite space cop. If you can be cool about it. Listen, things are spicy. Oh, she got green lantern. Okay. So, you know, come pick me up. She said, come pick me up. Okay, so... Please welcome <laughs> Zoe uh, Zoe Lawton. I I assume it's a cute little play on words for lawless because the last name is Lawton. <laughs> so that's my first initial reaction. So they gave us a familiar known character. Didn't expect her to be thrust in the superhero or villain uh, aspect of things, but you know it's a multiverse, so I guess. Uh, so I guess the law of average would state that at least there has to be one version that decided to become a young uh, young justice <laughs> type of member. And once again, they're going all out with this whole um, youth in the streaming thing. So I'm not sure how much commentary am I going to be able to do because uh, she seems to be doing all of that. But we'll see where we could fit in. This season three is now officially out, so which means I'm going to have to be doing a lot of grinding just to get to her part of the story. So stay tuned for my Twitch for that. I will put the link in the description. We're going to do a initial run first. So stay tuned for that. And then by the time that we get everything together, then the game shall be finished. Mrs. Freeze came out. So she's a female character. And now we got another female character. A lot of uh, diversity and inclusion in, this, in the Suicide Squad. <laughs> uh, it seems that her traversal abilities is, is going to be based on stealing Brainiac's technology. I haven't played any of these other live service games. I have dabbled in The Division and uh, I think that's kind of it. <laughs> the The Division 2 is the last time that I, that I dove into this whole gun looting live service game uh, flow of things. And I believe The Avengers was like same too, where it's just basically just like loot boxes or or just grinding for more weapons and guns. So really, games like this is good for the individual aspect of each character and what they can do. And the Suicide Squad, outside of just running and gunning, the run aspect is what is 
unique to them because everybody runs around or they jump on the the rooftops a lot differently than most so you pretty much have to combine that into your shooting gameplay i've been messing with the suicide squad for a lot i am very interested to see how that she plays because the division two was the last and possibly only yeah possibly only last game that i that i have played that involves like live service loot boxing aspect any complaints that you guys may or may not have heard that's all i guess a matter of opinion I myself and a few other people, part of my little squad group, we thoroughly enjoy the game. We appreciate the story. We are interested to see how everything plays out. I guess I more or less, aside from being a fan of DC and Marvel and just the whole genre in general, I guess it's good that I dodged or fairly dodged the bullets of the other type of games because when this first came out, I was hearing things about, oh, so this is just like the blah, blah, blah game. So I'm just like, well, I never played those games, so I can't really be affected one way or the other. But but yeah, so I'm done with the rambling. I will be playing it live. Hopefully we'll get some squad mates in. Stay tuned for that and for the other squad members that, that will join up. So until then, this is Evie Egregious and we out. Deuces. Like and subscribe.